Hello guys and welcome to Last Train Home. Massive thanks to THQ Nordic and Ashbourne Games for sponsoring this video. I've actually been really excited to get my hands on the game again after playing it in the Steam Next Fest and I really appreciate their support on of the channel whilst doing so. This is a brand new strategy game that came out this Tuesday 28th. If you like the look of the game and would like to try it yourself, make sure to check my link in the description but let's jump on in. Velká válka skončila. Jediné, co chceme, je vrátit se domů. Do nové republiky, která se zrodila v srdci Evropy. Jenže trčíme tady, protože sílící občanská válka blokuje přímou cestu na západ. Jediná cesta ven vede na východ přes území, o které bojuje Rudá a Bílá armáda. Musíme přejet Sibiř v obrněném vlaku a pak bezpečně doplout domů lodí. Je to naše jediná šance, jak tuto dlouhou cestu přežít. Možná to bude náš poslední vlak domů. Today we are going to be playing through the first hour of the game and I'll try and show off as much as I can. I managed to play the last train home demo and there were some parts that really, really impressed me. So with the introductions out of the way, let's start our journey. We do have some options that we can set if we would like to make it more difficult in future playthroughs, uh, but we're just going to stick with the normal commander setting, which is the option for those who want to enjoy the game as it's meant to be played. Uh, let's start. Během velké války, které se později začalo říkat první světová válka, měla Československá legie za úkol bojovat jménem Ruska výměnou za podporu nezávislé Československé republiky. Válka si však vyžádala nesmírné ztráty na životech a hospodářský kolaps v Rusku, což zažehlo revoluci, která se sadila cara a přerostla v krvavou občanskou válku. Bolševici založili rudou armádu, aby upevnili moc a vládu nad sjednoceným Ruskem, zatímco bílá armáda vznikla proto, aby se rudým postavila. Československá legie byla nyní ve velmi ošemetné pozici. Ozbrojená jednotka v cizí zemi, bez jasné příslušnosti k rudým či bílým. Západní hranice Ruska navíc stále ovládaly mocnosti, které založení Československa bránili. Československá prozatímní vláda proto legionářům nařídila, aby zůstali neutrální a vydali se na východ do Vladivostoku, kde se měli nalodit a plout zpátky do Evropy. Během evakuace přes transsibirskou magistrálu se však legie zapletla do ozbrojených střetů, které měly dopad na běh ruské občanské války. Nyní nás čeká příběh hry Last Train Home, fiktivního díla inspirovaného zápisky geniálního člena Československé legie a opravdového historického pramene. Příběh začíná u ambiciózního kapitána pod vedením majora Gazdíka, který vede poslední jednotku československých legionářů, která jede obrněným vlakem do Vladivostoku. Hlavu hore, kapitán. Treba zkontrolovat vlak a můžeme vyrazit. Počul jsem, ako se chválíte, že budete lepší major jako já. Nuž? Uvidíme, ako vám půjde veleně. Vezmite si čatu a vyrazte obchodovat s místním linárom, zatiaľ čo zvyšok legionáru bude strážit vlak. And here we are in the gameplay. So this is one of two parts of Last Train Home. You have the real-time sort of missions and combat potentially, and then you have a sort of overarching map that we'll get to a bit later on. But let's go ahead and head through the tutorial here. Ano, pane. We're just going to move ourselves over here. Cítím dym. To nie je dobré. Rychle. Mlyny jsou zničené. Ano, pane. 
Našťastie to vyzerá, že tu nebol nikto, kto by sa mohol zraniť. Unáhlejte sa a pozbierajte vrecia so zásobami potravín skôr, než tiež zhoria. Vaše rozkazy, pane? Let's go pick up the food. You see, there is a bit of a cover system where you can make the guys take cover around certain objects. In this case, though, our objective is to just pick up these resources. Rozbojna sa skončila. Blíži sa zima. Kto so zdravým rozumom by podpálil mlyn? Musíme sa porozprávať s mlynárom. Statok nie je ďaleko. Poďme. Poslouchám. So throughout the maps when you're playing through these missions there are extra resources that you can pick up that can be really really handy in the overarching campaign. But now let's go see what's going on. Myslíte, že je to mlynářů v dům? Ak je tam někdo naživé, je našou povinnosťou pokúsiť sa mu pomôcť. Přesně tak, pane. Někdo tam leží. Přišli jste zabít i mě? Nie, pani. Sme československí legionári na ceste do Vladivostoku. Chceli sme nakúpiť zásoby vo vašom mlyne, ale keď sme prišli, bol v plameňoch. Kto to urobil? Polševic. Dožadovali se, abychom jim předali zásoby na zimu jménem Lenina. Můj syn odmítl. Musíme živit rodinu, říkal. A tak ho zabili. A děti taky. Ty vojáci jste všichni stejní. Umíte jenom zabíjet. Jděte pryč a nechte mě umřít v pokoji. Jestli bolševici chtěli jídlo, proč nechali ty pytle schořet spolu s mlínem? O jedlo vůbec nešlo. Tak to dopadá, keď odmětněte spolupracovat s Červenou armádou. Červený, který zapálili tuto farmu, se nesmí dozvedět, že jsme tu. Ale nesmíme riskovat vlak. Najdíte si dobré město a preskúmajte kola je před námi. A je tam nějaký problém, aspoň budeme připraveni. Čekám na rozkazy. You see here there is some cloth resource that we can pick up. Ano, pane. Připraven, pane. Encourages you to fully explore the maps. I actually left the food back here. Let's just go ano. and send one of our Vaše guys rozkazy, to go pane. pick that up because I missed that. Jasná věc. Rozumím. That will be helpful later on, I imagine. Postarám se o to. Pošlite někoho z daleko hladu na tamten okraj. Prieskumníka. Hned, kapitán. You can see that each of these units has unique abilities. So our scout here has the recon ability and he has the stabilize ability, which is to pick up down members. Um, it looks like everyone Aha. has uh, the stabilize actually. But the medic has heal and then we have focus fire for our machine gunner guy. And then this chap is our rifleman. He has a bayonet charge, which can be pretty good. It's really, really fun to watch as well. To červení zabili rodinu tej mlinárky a všetko spálili. Zaslúžia si smrť. Boho vojak. Červená armáda sa bude zodpovedať za zločiny proti svojim krajanom. Ale nie nám. Stále sme na ruskom území a čaká nás dlhá cesta domov. Nechceme si robiť nepriateľov. Nemluvie o tom, že diplomatické incidenty by mohli ohroziť naši novou republiku. <sighs> Dosť rečí. Naspäť do vlaku. Možno cestou nájdeme ďalšie zásoby. Naši vojaci už dlho nevideli žiadnu akciu. Čo keby sme si urobili strelecké cvičenie so strašiakmi? Postarám sa o to. OK. We're going to be heading back to the train now. Can we have a quick look around? Might be worth spreading out. Seeing if we can find any extra supplies. Jsem připraven. Ano, pane. You have the scarecrows here that we can also attack. Rozkazy? Zaujímám pozici. Jako by se stalo? Povídejte. Připravenější už nebudu. Looks like Přesně some tak, supplies. Vaše That's what we like to see. We managed to pick up some ammo Posto there. That's useful. We've got Podívám. some extra food. Some cloth. Ano, pane. Připravenější už nebudu. Mm -hmm. Ano, jasná věc. Fuel there even. Zde. That's good. Čekaj, dobře, jdu tam. Počuvám, tak já to vypáčím. Got a bit more cloth and food. Ano. Už jdu. 
All right, let's have this chat fire at the scarecrow here. Idem to nie su strašiaki. To su vypchate čarodejnice. <laughs> Pozor na babu Jagu. Matku všech čarodejnic. Menej rečí, viac strieľania. Útočím. <laughs> Som na ceste. He's got the, uh, the shushé. I probably pronounced that incredibly badly. Cool little machine gun, though. Let's get going. Nikde nikoho nenecháme. Privete sem celú čatu, než dáte rozkaz na odchod. So we completed the objectives, now our units can level up. Uh, they do have sk extra skills that they can pick up along the way. You get extra experience for completing the side objectives, and of course, that's an overview of our resources that we managed to pick up. Uh, let's go ahead and leave. So the journey begins. As you and the others board the train, empty-handed, a discussion ensues about the recent events. Some feel enraged, some uneasy. You are lost in thought about the experience of being in command. Major Gazdik grabs you by the soldier, or shoulder, sorry, snapping you out of it. You did well, Captain, but you should not stop bragging, or you should stop bragging and start playing the role you hoped for. Today you learned the bread and butter of commanding. Things never go the way you imagine. We shouldn't have let the Reds leave. They should play, pay for their actions, killing people stealing and destroying food. The provisional government said we should avoid conflicts. We cannot go around passing sentences as we see fit. We need to follow orders. You can see that uh, one of our people was affected by the situation because he has the intelligent trait. Uh, look what they do to their own people. What do you imagine they'll do to us when we actually face them, considering they are a sizable military force in their country while civil war is brewing? Now we have a little bit of a choice. We have to be neutral. We are soldiers and we need to follow orders or we can think about the consequences if we caught them red-handed as they kill civilians. Let's just go with the second one there. They'd be thrilled to see us here. I bet they'd tell everyone how Czechoslovak legionary shot an honest miller and his family, burned the mill and left the food to be destroyed. Shall we proceed to Moscow then as planned or are we expecting trouble? We will go to Moscow to pick up my future advisor, Captain Langer. He is currently working to negotiate our safe passage to Vladivostok. Let's hope the negotiations will bear fruit. Indeed, speaking of fruit, since we didn't manage to replenish our supplies, we'll stop at the next station to do so. Dismissed. So now we've got to go to Sukhenichi to get more supplies for the long journey. And welcome to the big map. So this is sort of our overview. We have our train here that we can zoom into. And as we go, there'll be missions that are revealed to us. Currently though, we simply just have to move to the next station. So that's what we're gonna do. We can have a quick look through our train here. We've got the locomotive, got the artillery car, we've got a storage car, infantry car where they're sleeping. Um, and we've got some extra beds back here, plus our cook. All of your soldiers in this game, they have their own sort of roles uh, that they do on the train, as well as potentially being soldiers. Pretty interesting once it, you get a bit deeper into the game. A faithful encounter. The train stops several dozens of meters before the station. There is another train blocking your path. As you and others exit the train, you are greeted with a grave silence and a few rifles aimed in your direction from near the station. Towards you, a tall red army officer is walking, accompanied by two soldiers. Greetings, legionaries. My name is Adam Molozov, who is in command of your unit. Major Gazdik steps off the train and shakes Morozov's hand firmly. You glimpse his other hand resting on the hilt of his trench knife, a sure sign he smells trouble, and you know he is rarely wrong. Major Otaka Gazdik, I'm in command of this train. What To what do I owe the pleasure, General? 
Morozov betrays a look of mixed amusement and satisfaction, evidently unsure if the Major has recognised his rank by the insignia on his uniform or through his reputation as a hero of the Great War. A mere coincidence. I was visiting family nearby. Nonetheless, our encounter is most fortunate, as I have a proposition, one of mutual interest. What do you want, Morozov? Do tell. I'm all yours. Indeed, and that's how it should be, my friend, because it is in my power to ensure your safe passage through Russia. That is what you want, is it not? All you need to do is hand over your weapons. Give up our weapons to you? I don't think so. Probably use them to shoot us and then burn the entire station to the ground. You're not the first legionaries to pass through here. Your countrymen handed over their weapons without incident. For your soldiers' sake, do as I ask, or you will regret it. Oh, I'm sure you intend to let us be on our merry way, completely unscathed, with a full belly and a happy heart. I've said my piece, General. Start shooting, or get out of our way. It's your choice. Morozov stares silently at Gazdik. A few legionaries shift uneasily and unsling their rifles, which until now had been shouldered despite the obvious threat. Then Morozov slowly raises his hands and smiles. There is no hint of deception in his expression. He seems at ease, almost pleased. I appreciate your candor, Major. I think we both know where we stand. Until we meet again. With a polite nod, Morozov turns away and followed by his soldiers, he boards the Red's train and departs. Everyone is a bit rattled. The departure of the train reveals the station. There, a disaster. So I really kind of like the story. It's very much presented uh, like the book it's based on. Uh, like Last Train Home is like basically a fiction uh, based on a true story, I think. And so, yeah, it's kind of cool to, to read through this stuff. Let's uh, start the mission. So we need to create a squad. We've got to choose the people we're taking with us. So let's go ahead and take some of the people we had before. You can see the ones that you took before because they'll have like less stamina. You can actually just take everybody. Should be absolutely fine. Let's deploy. Niečo je zlé. Je tu príliš ticho. Vyrazte, ale majte oči aj uši na stopkách. Naši zoom pretty close in in this game. Watch your soldiers running about, but let's go search for the locals. Maybe find some resources along the way. Rozumím. Zde? Roz, dobře, jdu tam. There is a pause system in this game when you press space bar. You can set up orders, I believe, in this space bar pause mode. Um, it's basically tactical pause. It looks like we found the four villagers. So we have a civilian here down. Let's use our medic and the heal skill. Get them back on their feet. Meanwhile, let's go grab the medical kits over here. You can see that added to our stockpile of medical kits at the top. Poslouchám. Hledám kryt. Připravenější už nebudu. Jsme československý legionáři na cestě do Vladivostoku. Můžete nám povedat, co se tu stalo? Rudá armáda si přišla pro rekruty a zásoby. Řekli jsme jim, ať jdou pryč, ale oni se jen smáli a sebrali nám všechno, co chtěli. Každého, kdo se jim postavil, zabili. Viděli jsme nákladáky plné dělostřelecké munice, jak jedou k řece. Bydlí tam moje sestra. Jsem strachy bez sebe. Pomozte mi, prosím. Přišli jsme nakoupit zásoby. Nije se zaplést do ruských záležitostí. Ale červený na nás zautočili už skvor a očividně tu nechystají nic dobré. Vlak prostě nemůžeme riskovat. Takže musíme jí zjistit, co se tu děje. Vyzerá to, že ten most sabotovali. Budeme ho muset dopravit, aby jsme se dostali dělí. Nástroje a materiály najdete v nedalekém táboře. Přímo tamhle. Let's have a look down here. 
We'll let this guy go search for some supplies. We can run up into here and try and find some supplies. <laughs> you kind of feel bad because obviously the, the Reds just came along and took all of their resources from them. And now I'm kind of looking to take the last little amount that they have. Okay, some enemies up on the hill here. They're going to want to... Get into cover. We'll get into a flanking position. We do have a grenade that we can throw. We well, don't want him to run out in the open when we do that. And that deals with them. Alright, maybe a bit overkill with the grenade there, but it worked out. Nepřítel podle všeho zaujímá dobrou obranou pozici v plném krytu. Bez dlouhého dostřelu či granátů budeme muset na jejich pozici vtrhnout. Už jdu. I was going to introduce us to the Rifleman Bayonet Charge. This is a really fun ability. <laughs> we got this chap, he has a Bayonet Charge. We can just tell him to run forwards and go for him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Job done. He sprints so far. Tady se to rudými jen hemží. Asi by bylo dobré zůstat v utajení, co možná nejdéle. Hlavně nikdo nesmí omylem vystřelit. Střelba není zrovna nenápadná. Ano, pane. I now been introduced to the stealth mode. You by pressing Y, we can enter stealth mode and they kind of creep around a little bit. You can basically Silent kill people with melee when you're in the silent mode. We'll have our rifleman head forwards here and do just that. We should be able to do it again against these two. So we got introduced to the tactical view now. What we can do is use it to set up two melee kills at exactly the same time. So we're just going to sneak up here. And then I can just get these two to go and kill these at the same time. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we've got the repair kit. You see that we also have this station here. Um, you can find these throughout the missions where they sort of allow you to heal for free without using up a med pack. It's kind of nice. Anyway, let's use the repair kit. Job done. Pokud je tady nějaká vyhlídková věž, měli bychom ji obsadit, abychom měli lepší přehled o okolí. Ano, pane. There are certain special objectives that occur during the missions, and this is one of them where you can go and capture the tower, use the tower to get a better view. Oh, we need to get out of silent mode, that's why it's not capturing. Rozumím. <laughs> Rozumím. 
Počúvam. Alright, let's get this guy. Mob a grenade over. Pick up some more grenades. <laughs> get away. <laughs> Pane, nice. ten most vyzerá ako dokonalé miesto na prepadnutie. Ďalej by sme mali pokračovať až potom, čo zistíme, čo by nás mohlo čakať na druhej strane. Nemá niekto ďaleko hlad? Se dobře, tu tam. Pripravený. Yeah, let's just use this for cover. Áno. Whilst we use our ano, sniper ano, and his binoculars to have a look at what's going on. Podívám se, co tam je. Nepřítel. Quite a lot of dudes. Vědí, že jsme tady. Přijdou si pro nás. Připravíme ten kulomet a dáme jim co proto. Zaujímám pozici. Proškazy! Jdu do krytou. Poslouchám, pane. I to find a good spot for the sniper. Jsem tu. Idu do krytu. Let's grab our ano? machine gunner. We'll use that focused fire ability I Rozkoda. pointed out earlier. Jsem připravena. There another tu place su. here that I Brán can těsa. use. I don't think so. Rozumím. Probably keep the medics Pobídejte. back, to be honest. Vaše rozkaz už idem. Sjuda, sjuda. Ostatní nejsou tak hloupí, aby proti nám šli poté, co viděli, jak to jejich kámoši koupili na mostě. Takže povoláme dělostralecký útok a postaráme se, aby ty hajzly zaplatili za svoje zločiny. And we have access to an artillery strike that can be called in from our train. It's down here in the bottom right. Let's smash them to pieces with this. Brutal. Brutal. Pane? To je uhlie? Skvelé. Ano, pane. Palivo je ta najcennější surovina na našej cestě. Nie je naša najcennější surovina jedlo. Ovšem, v dalším depu bychom si měli koupit lokomotivu, která jezdí na borůvky. A možná bychom mohli pálit borůvky, abychom se ve vlaku přes Sibiř zahřáli. Podívám se. Good love how sarcastic they are. Right. Let's carry on to the exit. Did I leave a guy behind? I felt like I did. Nie. Jasná věc. Připravený. So you have to actually manually undeploy them in order to move the machine guns, apparently. Rozumím. Co se děje? Ano. Oh, where's the ammo? Rozumím. <laughs> Almost left that behind. Let's at least complete the side objective. Actually, really important to make sure that we have experience so that we can eventually level these up and get their extra abilities. Okay, let's go. So Major Gazdek sent us a scout a village ahead. We found the Reds had massacred the villagers and plundered whatever they could. We even caught them in the middle of preparing an ambush on our train, so we'd had to deal with them. We tried and succeeded. Again, experience has gone up. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we can actually assign medals, um, and medals grant extra XP. So let's just give it to our machine gunner. Uh, we'll give it to our rifle guy and maybe one to our medic as well. That will do nicely. You can see that they've leveled up to level two now. A fateful encounter. 
Back on the train, the soldiers discuss the confrontation with Morozov at the station, as well as the violence the Reds enacted against unarmed villagers. Most, though not all, feel that the artillery strike on the Reds' encampment was justified. Major Gazdik is lost in thought. I think the Reds were expecting us, setting a trap perhaps. What I don't understand is why, and why now? Isn't Captain Langer conducting negotiations in Moscow? He is, but we don't know the outcomes of these negotiations. Everyone get to your posts. I have letters to write, and the train is not going to get us to Moscow by itself. Dismissed. New legionaries have joined us. We've got Alfred Kraus, Alzbeta, I'm going to absolutely butcher these names, uh, Vibira Lova, and Dusan Hudacek. Okay, we got a sniper, a Nagant revolver, and a short rifle. Cool. Perfect. All right, now we can mess around with the troop or the train movement. So we'll click the part and then we can go to like normal speed, unpause it and it will start moving away. If you go like overdrive speed, it will use more fuel. Our resources are at the top. So you can see we've got fuel here. We've got food, money, wood, metal, cloth, herbs and gunpowder. On the left side, we've got the different types of cars and all of the cars and if you just click them it zooms straight into them which is really cool shows you all the people inside and on the map here you can see our next objective which is to get to moscow on the bottom we got some notifications idle soldiers I believe once we have things to do, like upgrade the train and stuff, you can use certain people to do that. But for now, no need. We can go through the people who got promoted, actually. Uh, so we can give them some more uh, roles or more attributes which fit their roles. The best way to do it is to look in here. So certain abilities require more of an attribute in order to unlock. So that's something to definitely pay attention to when assigning your attribution points. You've been called into the office of Major Gazdek. Captain, as you're aware, we're low on some of the critical supplies. We've got some in Sukunichi, or Sukunichi but not nearly enough, and we have a long way to go. There is a village ahead called Kaluga. Send a squad there and have them buy more food and herbs if they have some. Yes, Major, I'll send the squad. Right, time to do a shopping trip. Bravo. And so let's just uh, give it a quick pause while I go through this. You can see that the, the fitness um, gives you like extra stats that are different to the decks and stuff. You can see here on these tool tips. The game's actually really, really good for tool tips. And as it goes through uh, the start of the game, it does introduce you to all of this. You can also see that you can get more roles. So this is what I was saying about it requiring extra attributes in order to unlock. So this one requires um, five fitness and four decks in order to unlock the machine gunner role. Uh, or the cook role is, four, is five decks and five charisma and so on and so forth. And by unlocking these, these you can get their extra abilities and uh, let, let them equip different weapons. It's really cool. Also got the train inv inventory here, which gives us information on all our weapons and ammo and anything we might need, which you really do need to manage throughout the game. We do want to go to Kaluga, so let's select a squad. We'll grab our normal folks. Let's uh, equip these extra passives that these have got as well. I'm leveling up.
probably stop the train just to make sure that we're not too far away. Otherwise the squad will have to travel further and they'll use more stamina. Your people have arrived at a village and are meeting with the village elder. Welcome soldiers, what brings you here in these trying times? We've come to trade, we need food and herbs to treat the sick and wounded. I see, well afraid, I'm afraid you'll have to disappoint you. Uh, the, red, the boys of the Red Army have already taken away all the extra food we had. Military requisition, they said, for the good of the state, you see. But you can visit Ilja's store. He's a good lad. He'll have something you can use. Tell us more about the Reds. Ah, one would think that everything would calm down now that the Great War is over. They recruit and requisition like they're getting ready for another war. We don't hear much here, but I'm worried. So we can go to the merchant here. You can see that one of our people has the avaricious trait, which gives us a better deal uh, when we are trading. And traits actually play a big part in how you interact with the environment in this game. Certain people are better to doing certain things like foraging or cutting down trees or whatever based on their, their um, current traits. And in doing so, by using their traits, you get more value out of those actions. So you have to kind of manage that as you go along. Um, we can just buy quite a lot of stuff here. I don't know if I should buy everything. Not sure how much that's going to cost me. Quite a lot of money. Let's just bring this down so that we can afford it. We've got quite a lot of cloth, I imagine. Uh, so let's just only buy like 50. Okay, that'll do. Boom. Did our trade. And now our people need to get back to the train. And then we can carry on again. Let's not leave them behind. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that would be funny if they're like just running after the train. Okay. Engine malfunction. Suddenly a loud metallic clang echoes through the air and the train begins to slow down. It seems the engine has broken down. You see Major Gazdek coming towards you with a frown on his face. So our locomotive has gained an engine malfunction. The damn three thing broke again. Captain assigned some workers to fix the locomotive so we can continue to Moscow. And there's no point in waiting aimlessly for the repairs to finish, so let's take advantage of that. Send a squad to look for more supplies. We've got a long way to go. We need to make the most of every moment. Maybe we don't have any more surprises today. I don't have a good feeling about the meeting with General Morozov. What are you waiting for, captive? Captain? Get to work. Alright, so this is the foraging that I was just talking about. Uh, let's go ahead and slow things down. So we need to resolve this engine malfunction. And we need to assign workers. So you can see that we just need to pick someone who's going to be efficient at it. So for example, this guy is 93 work efficient uh, because he has the focused trait um, and also for fitness and for willpower. Uh, so he would probably be really good. Uh, this guy has both the focused and diligent trait. Uh, so both of these would be fantastic. Uh, he's currently in squad one though, so we might actually want to keep him in case we want to send them out. So let's just let this chap do it in the day and we'll put one to work at night. But what I would like to do first is send a couple of squads to the forest and to the lake so that we make sure that we use the beneficial traits. So we'll select a squad. We need Hunter, survivalist, and herbalist. Uh, let's see. We can assign these to different squads. So just 
do this. We need to edit the squad. I need to probably just take these out, to be honest. And just make a new squad. So, just need to find people with those traits. So, this is one. And this guy. Between them, they have Hunter, Herbalist, and this is Hunter, Herbalist. Uh, is there a Survivalist as well? don't think we have one. Uh, but we do need to take three people with us. So let's just bring her with us and they can go. Then we'll do the same at the lake, uh, which also requires Hunter Survivalist. So we'll just use that squad to do that. And then we can have um, everybody else help here. So if we didn't use this chat, we'll pop them in. We'd get things done nice and quick. He's on the cannon post. I'll do. Lovely. That's going to be done actually pretty quick. Uh, let's use the energy and see what they find. So, Major Gazdick ordered you to send a squad to forage for food. Report Major. We searched the area and gathered what was usable. Uh, because he's got the hunter trait, he caught some game. And we also found some herbs. Wonderful. And we got an extra 1,000 experience for that. Uh, now what we can do is send this squad over here. To go and grab those resources. Uh, this should be good to go. Now it's fixed up. So what we can do is just kind of move it up near the lake while we're waiting. Let's see what happens. We need to spend a little bit of time fishing here. Okay, let's have a look at what we got. Because he's a hunter, he was able to pull one fish after another, giving us plenty of extra food. Wonderful. Let's head back to the train and we'll get underway. Two of our soldiers now pretty tired because they've been working away. make sure to give them extra attributes. Not entirely sure if it's worth me unlocking the other ones here. We just want him to be a machine gunner, for example. So he needs, I assume, is this what we need in order to unlock that? I assume that is. it is. We need plus one fitness there. So yeah, we should probably check that beforehand. We can check that on another one, actually. Um, let me just go into someone else. And we'll just quickly check that before we move on. So soldier overview. Um, we have ones that need to be leveled up. So if we go into this and we see he's a rifleman, we want to make him a better rifleman. So we need to give him on plus one willpower. Does that work? Or is that just at level three he gains plus one more power? Hmm. Either way, upgrading these you can see gives different things. So fitness affects maximum health, melee damage, time to aim, work efficiency of workers and combat skills. Um, dexterity affects aim, reload time, work efficiency and doctors and cooks as well as some combat skills. Um, intelligence affects work efficiency, doctors and engineers. Willpower affects critical health, work efficiency of workers and engineers. And character uh, charisma story affects work efficiency of cooks and some combat skills. So fitness and dexterity, particularly fitness, uh, very useful, I suppose, for 
uh, my soldiers and then everybody else who's going to be doing different stuff in the crew like being a cook and stuff um, can have the other traits so let's have a look at her she's got oh, she's got five intellect that does actually increase the speed speed of the heal ability for her so that's pretty handy to have but we'll give her some more decks And you can also see there, because these people are tired, that it is reducing their statistics. And we've arrived at Moscow. So this is an activity that will move us onto the next region and we won't be able to go back. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, let's go. No turning back. Thick black plumes of smoke rise to meet storm clouds overhead moscow is on fire through the pouring rain you can hear gunfire major gazdek moves from car to car pulling senior officers aside for a briefing at the rear of the train as it slows for the city station all right as you can see outside the situation isn't good there's fighting in the streets of moscow it's nothing short of civil war but we have our orders. We must go in and meet up with Captain Langer and his unit. So we are to locate La Captain Langer, then depart Moscow together. This should be quick and easy, right? Let's assemble the squad and go into the city. Do not underestimate the danger. One stray bullet and we'll be in the middle of a bloodbath. And for God's sake, don't shoot first. We don't want to make things any worse. Is that clear? Dismissed. As the senior officers fall out and shuffle past, Major Gazda grabs your arm and gives you a familiar reassuring look you'll be fine captain assign some soldiers for the mission i trust your judgment have them locate captain langer as quickly as possible but keep your wits about you i'm expecting trouble okay so uh, we want to make sure that all of our people have at least like a decent amount of stamina uh so let's just uh, disband the squad and we'll create a new one with all the people that we need so We'll definitely take this chap, our rifleman. We'll take our medic. Uh, we can take our <laughs> grenadier here. He's got some really bad traits. That's hilarious. Uh, we can take a scout with a sniper. Let's take maybe a second medic. And we'll take, we'll take a grenadier. Why not? We can be a bit liberal with this chap. Can I just bring everyone? Yeah, maybe I just bring everyone. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Off we go. Choto, Major, ten vlak sa rúti plnou parou priamo proti nám. Do pekla červený do nás tu narazit. Regionári, pripravte sa! General Morozov. Měl jsem pocit, že se opět setkáme. Jste klamár a zbabelec. Jak to? Zničit vlak plný vojáků na cestě domů, když naše národy mezi sebou nebojují. Dovolte mi připomenout, že jsem vám dal na výběr, majore. Když složíte zbraně, můžete si běž překročit míru. Je to víc než spravedlivé a ta nabídka pořád platí. Ovšem bez vlaku. A teď své jednoce neříte, aby se vzdala. Větě, že to neurobím. Věrný až do horského konce. To respektuji. Bůh žehne vaši duši, bratře Gazdíku. Zoženě. Kapitána Langera. Musíme se dostat do Vladivostoku. Zavraždili Majora Gazdíka. Toto nemůžeme nechat bez odplaty. All right, team. We got to ano? <laughs> avenge Rozumím. our comrade. Zaujímám pozici. Nepriatel. Dobře, jdu tam. Uh, we should probably be sneaking around a little bit because there's 
going to be people coming for us potentially. Uh, let's just kill this guy. We already did. Nice. Efficient work, men. Bit of a mistake on my part, I didn't see them. You have to be kind of careful in this game, because you do, just do move around very, very quickly. And if you're not paying attention, it's quite easy to get spotted. I'm just having a look around to see if there's any extra resources we can pick up as we go. Uh, otherwise, let's carry on. We'll go pick up that metal. Being sneaky with the flanks is pretty important. I'm going to keep them behind this wall here. I'm going to have my chap go in silent kill that fella. Oh, that's not good. Right, I'm going to need to get over here as soon as possible. Okay. Phew. <laughs> that could have been really bad. <laughs> that could have been really bad. I'll tell you one thing, I'm not very good at being stealthy. <laughs> but it's okay because my soldiers got my back. Hopefully me upgrading them. Helped with that a little bit. <laughs> okay. Well, we're making progress quickly, so that's something. Just sneak around a little bit. More med kits there. Honestly, I might be able to just get behind these chaps and kill them. Let's just use the pause and make sure both of them get taken out. We've got a person down here that's got to go as well. Oh, they're in melee now. Oh, okay. Dobře, <laughs> do tam. <laughs> Just shoot him, that's fine. <laughs> this person needs a heal. I think they'll be okay for now, though. He kind of got shot in the face. Oh, we left someone behind. Major Gazdík by nechtěl, abychom riskovali životy jen kvůli pomstě. Měli bychom najít kapitána Langera. Podle původních rozkazů. Už nějakou dobu je nasazen v Moskvě a určitě bude vědět o způsobu, jak se odsud dostat. We'll have to go through the back. Oh, no. We'll let this guy run and catch up. Oh. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to this chap. Is Captain Langer? Kde je Major Gazdík? Je mrtvý. Může za to ten bastard Morozov. Takže to začalo. Rudí šíří svou jedinou pravdu jménem jednoty. Z toho bude občanská válka. Zničili nám vlak. Většina naší jednotky tam zahynula. Musíme odjet co možná nejdřív. Je tu ještě jeden vlak, kterým můžeme jet. 
Tady je mapa města. Jestli se dostanete k tomuhle nádražnímu depu, budeme moct obsadit jiný vlak. Dávejte pozor. Rudí nejspíš vědí, že hledáme nový vlak a budou depo urputně bránit. Já tajně svolám svou jednotku a připojíme se k vám v depu. Počkejte tam na nás. Čekám. Jdou tam. A now we're get over here. A hádám kryt. Už to je tabule. Co se děje? Ano. <laughs> That guy. <laughs> the second time we've almost aggroed him. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he was right there. Of course he was. All right, we're going to have to go and save him. That's fine. Classic. Let's just kill this guy. Kill this guy. Oh, this guy's tanky. Oh, that's not good. Another guy has been killed as well. Wait. Are they just dead? They haven't been downed. They're actually just straight up dead. Okay. Wow. Doing an absolutely abysmal display. Now, one thing I need to do is probably this. Get him set up there. And it kind of worked out. We got them cornered. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Losing two of my men. Not what I had planned. Poor chap. Oh, go collect his ammo and move on. Alright, let's go into silent mode again. And try not to uh, lose all my soldiers. I think ideally you want to play this a bit more slowly, keep units a bit more spread out. For example here there's a couple guys, we probably want to wait for their patrol and then try and sneak up on them. Or we could just straight up ambush them. I'm not sure where they turn around. We're gonna get a couple of people to go this side. And maybe if I can see them head back over here they can sort of sneak up behind them and if anything goes wrong we can just run around and shoot them I'm going to make sure that I do this in sequence this time. Because last time I kind of messed it up. And ended up having a little bit of a melee. Okay, good. That works. Grab those extra resources. Oh, some resources back here as well. Yeah, we're playing this a lot better now. <laughs> this means it's like yoloing around really doesn't work. It does show you that you do have to be a little bit more tactical in this game, that's for sure. Let's carry on. I really like the authentic 
language in this game. Like the, the sort of original voices with subtitles is definitely the best way to play this. I think you can do it, play it with like English dub, but I wouldn't recommend it. Right, we can see ourselves an enemy here. Actually two enemies here. Let's have our snipers set up. Kapitán Langer měl pravdu. Je tam vlak, který nás odveze do Vladivostoku. Měli bychom se hnat co nejvíc paliva, zatímco budeme čekat na zbytek legionářů, kteří jsou nasazení v Moskvě. Červený asi nebudu mať radosti, že se jim snažíme prebrat vlak. Tento raz se ani nebudu obťažovat, aby nám povedali, že máme zložit zbraně. Nice. Jsem připravena. Skryjem se. Rozkazy? Rozumím. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Just shoot that guy, why not? Gotta be careful of that chap if I want to go grab those resources. <laughs> okay, oh, we gotta go. Let's get somebody on it. Holy moly. He is having a bad time. Let's get him healed up. Oh, that was close. Almost lost another guy. Crikey. Didn't expect them to come in from the station side. Hope we can't friendly fire, that would be <laughs> rather bad. We managed to take them out. Oh, he just got hit. Get a grenade out. Nice. Right, heal him up. Okay. Get 50 fuel for the train. Oh. Adam Crit. Where do we get fuel from? Oh, that's some extra guys back there. Poslouha, když něco najdu, můžu si to nechat, pane? Zaujímám pozici. Oh, that's not good. I got spotted. Does he have another grenade? Yes. Oh, that's another guy that got spotted. Oh, two more guys. Another grenade. Oh, big grenade. Get my snipers over here. Right, okay, can she heal herself? We can. Right, let's just cover the snipers as they go and grab this fuel. Was there more round here, maybe? We're nearly there. All right, nice. Čekám. I did the trick. Postaram se o to. There are some grenades there, so that's good. Let's get our squad into the exit area. We did lose a couple of men. But their sacrifice will be remembered. So, už idem. Budeš žít. Připraven. Ano, pane. Ano, měním pozici. 
Chicam. Make sure we grab everyone. And off we go. And now we need to assign some medals. He's leveled up already. And maybe we'll take our medic to level 3, or close to level 3. Seems like getting everybody to level 2 is always a good idea. Just because it only takes one medal to do so. So we'll do that. Wonderful. Bit of a shame we uh, lost our couple of soldiers there, but uh, bittersweet farewell. Regrettable events in Moscow claimed the lives of Major Gazduk, and many brave legionaries. Morozov's savage attack will not be forgiven. However, the arrival of Captain Langer and his unit has helped with morale. All is not lost. The journey continues. Upon learning of Major Gazdik's demise, the Czechoslovak Provisional Government sent orders with your promotion from Captain to Major. This is not how you imagined moving up the ranks, but here you are. The responsibility of leading your soldiers to Vlasovostok suddenly rests heavily on your shoulders. The soldiers look or took the new leadership well, but Captain Langer seemed taken aback. Nevertheless, Major Gazdik uh, trusted Langer to serve as a valuable advisor, and so will you. So these are our new soldiers that have joined us as we move on to the next part of the campaign. Major, we've lost someone in the battle. It would be good for morale to give them a proper send-off. Will you say a few words? We can do nothing, hold a vigil, drink in their name, or hold remembrance feast. We will hold a vigil for them. You speak about the heroic sacrifice, honour and fellowship of those fallen, stressing the need to remember them so that if you cannot bring them home in person, at least their memory will be delivered to their loved ones. After the speech, you allow the soldiers to hold a vigil. Antonin leads the sermon and talks about God and what lies beyond. Everybody has gained some morale because of that. Let's see what's next. S naším velícím důstojníkem jsem se poprvé potkal v Moskvě. Bylo to v předvečer revoluce a město bylo plné strachu z občanské války. Rudí vydali ultimátum, které vedlo k násilí. Přišli jsme o majora Gazdíka i spoustu dobrých vojáků. Československá legie byla vnímána jako hrozba, protože jsme byli profesionální armáda bez jasné příslušnosti. Chtěli nás odzbrojit, zadržet a kdybychom se bránili, měli nás zabít. Jenže nás krvavé záležitosti té cizí země nezajímaly. Chtěli jsme jen bezpečnou cestu z Ruska do naší nové republiky, domů. A v skutku tohle byly naše rozkazy. Dostat se vlakem do Vladivostoku a nalodit se na plavbu domů. Překvapilo mě, že mi neřekli, abych tohle tažení vedl. Navzdory mým zkušenostem z pole. Místo toho jsem byl pouhým poradcem a pobočníkem našeho velitele. Bylo to neslíchané. Ale tehdy jsem neměl žádný dobrý důvod pochybovat o naší prozatímní vládě. Z Moskvy jsme utekli živí jen o vlásek, ale podařilo se nám zajistit obrněný vlak na naši dlouhou a náročnou cestu. And that's the end of chapter one and the end of my first look at Last Train Home. Honestly, it only gets better from here. You get introduced to the customization of the trains. You get much deeper dive into all of the customization of your units. Uh, there's a lot uh, to look forward to. So if you want to check out the game for yourself, do make sure to click the link in the description and uh, take a look. On the map here, you can see there is a long way to go and potential choices to be made in which way you go in the future, which is really, really cool. But that's going to be it from me for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this look at Last Train Home. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.